Hello YouTube. Uh, in this series on command line application, uh, it's your attention that there's a way to send email from the command line. Um, look, I admit there are some things you just can't do with <laughs> lively in the command line. I mean, some people do them. I certainly don't. But one of them, for example, is word processing. And I used to think that email was off limits as well, but it's not. Okay, I'm going to show you today a program called Alpine, um, which competes with some other ones like Mutt and uh, Cone. But we will be talking about Alpine today, so without further ado, let's have a look at Alpine. Okay, there's a bit of custom colours going on here. You can see it's opening your inbox and it's going to require my password. Okay, so what I can do is just take a view and show you a little bit of the setup. Okay, one of the things that was confusing for me at the start was how to set up with a Gmail account, so I'm just going to show you the config for that. You can see these things? Yeah, so normal name, gmail.com being the server, stp.gmail.com, or smtp rather, uh, with you know the port settings there, and my user account stuff. Okay, I'm not going to go through that anymore because I think you guys can look at the main pages, um, look at the guides online on Google and stuff like that. So we'll go and have a look. Uh, and all your colour settings and stuff are in here as well, so you can cu customise it to how you really want it to appear. We'll go into um, uh, compose a message. So I'm going to compose a message to one of my accounts. Um, maybe we can add an attachment for fun. Okay, so. Um, <coughs> So I'm just going to chuck some really innocuous um, ah, What can we put? Just put this one in here Yep, so just added that as an attachment And hi, there is the script you are looking for No worries So if we send that Yes and it's going to get me to authenticate in a sec. Okay, we're not going to be using that. We're going to be Nix user 1980. And I'll just do that, yep. And we'll do the password, which of course I'm not going to tell you guys. Not that I don't trust you, but I don't want people locking into my email, of course, even though this is just my mailing list one that I get all my Gen 2 stuff for. Right, we're going to go back out and uh, see. Uh, that, that email has been sent with the attachment. So let's have a look. Um, old list, mix user. You can set this stuff up. It's not too hard to set up. I'll we'll leave once again. I'll, we might have a chance to have a look at that. But let's have a look. Okay, we're going to our inbox. I've got a lot of emails in here, guys, so bear with me for a second while I find our beautiful little email. And there we go. Oh, it's actually down the bottom. Okay, and let's have a look in it. Here's the script that you're looking for. Yeah. So, as you can see, our attachment has uh, been put in, and we can view the attachment. And don't know how to display, so try to save. So, we can just save that to the hard drive, um, and we won't save that because that'll interfere with looking up my other file. But um, look, the point is that you know you can do a lot with the command line, and and you can do a lot with the tools that run from the command line. This is just one of those examples. Um, before we leave this video, I'll just go back and show you how to set up this little bit here. List. That's right, collection list. So we can just set up. Okay, so it's all in your setup. You can see here, all I have to do is do that and do that. And the other stuff's already set up, you know, with my other um, main.
main server details and that. So you can just add collections. You can keep on adding email addresses all you want. Doesn't matter where they're from or whatever. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you'd like to leave any comments or suggestions for other email clients, uh, command line ones in particular. I mean, of course, we've all tried the Thunderbirds. I think we've all tried the Evolutions and all those sorts of ones. But um, yeah, if, if you've got another one that you'd like to either have reviewed or something like that, uh, send a send a message on in the comments, guys. Uh, more than encourage it. All right. Well, that's been another pleasant video, and we will see you next time. Bye, YouTube.